Hi, my name is Jamie, and I am an art director with Jerry's Artorama, and I've been working in the art industry for over 15 years. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to use the Daniel Smith watercolor sketcher set. Um, I've started off with this uh, illustration of a little bird, and I'm going to go ahead in and um, add in some water in the background, just laying down a nice flat color um, here with the yellow. And this, this set is really great, um, and just Daniel Smith in general, for doing uh, earthy, earthy drawings, earthy, getting earthy tones. And for this particular subject matter, this is a really great little set. Um, to come in and accentuate um, my drawing. And now I'm taking some of the color that I've created on my palette, some of this personalized green, and coming in and just giving a hint of some of the bushes in the background. I'm not doing a thick layer. I want to be able to add more layers on top to give depth. Um, one of the great things about watercolor is that you can do that. You can work gradually. Um, you can create washes as heavy or as light as you'd like and work as quickly as you'd like. Um, another thing that's uh, great here is this Mimic Kalinsky brush I'm using. And it's from the Mimic Kalinsky Deluxe Travel Brush Set. These brushes just hold so much water and so much pigment that I can continuously work and I don't have to go back to my palette so often because it's just holding so much of that pigment and the paper is allowing me to um, apply this color and um, just so vibrantly. It really holds the color in and it holds in the water and you can see that I'm saturating my areas um, where I'm gonna lay down color and just letting the pigment do its own thing. Um, watercolor is wonderful for that. It, it really, it can work with you, it can work against you, but really I find that it really works with me when I give it a lot of water and let it do its own effect and let the pigment just kind of spill out I'm adding some shadows now um, inside the sketch of the bird. And this is where I'm gonna want my darkest points. And I'm also gonna go in and add some of the local value of the bird, some of the actual colors that I see. And I'm working off of a photo, so some of the colors that I actually see in this bird, um, this bird's plumage. And here I'm continuing to add in the local value, doing little short strokes as I go. Um, because I haven't created a detailed sketch. This was, this was just a quick gestural drawing here. And again, I'm doing a lot of mixing on my palette. These Daniel Smith sets are great because they have a little travel case you can take with you anywhere, and you don't have to worry about taking a palette with you to do extra mixing. You can just mix right in the top of this little traveling case. And I'm going in and, and slowly deepening these shadows here with this personalized color that I have on the palette, bringing some of the greens into the bird so that everything is tied in together with the greens in the background. And you can really see how this paper, it's a, a heavy weight um, paper. I'm working in the Reflections Journal. It really soaks up this pigment and it allows me to work 
very quickly. So that's great when you're doing like plein air painting and you really want to get something down and you can just sketch it in watercolor. You don't have to do a, a graphite or ink sketch first, but let's say you have a subject like a bird that may not be sitting there for very long. You can just pull out your watercolors and start working in this journal and you don't have to worry about waiting for the dry time and everything and your colors are going to be just as vibrant with the first stroke as it would uh, your second and third layers. So I'm going to come in and deepen these shadows even more. Add some little details of feathers that I didn't fill in with my pen. Now I'm going to come in and with a little bit deeper personalized green I've created on my palette, start filling in these bushes in the background. Now I'm going to start filling in the foreground that this uh, little bird is sitting on. And I'm going to create sort of a, a cooler color, this softer gray green. Um, to make the foreground stand out and really show what this little bird is sitting on. Now I'm creating a blue to go back into this little rock pile and create some cool shadows. I've had most of this rock pile done in a cooler green, again, to separate it from the background and um, further pull this, this third layer of the painting out that has the bird on it. But I want this, the shadows to be this, this nice blue, um, cool color to really separate, help separate everything. Um, the greens that I previously added were, again, just to help pull the whole thing together, have a, a common uh, color throughout each, each part of the painting. I'm going to go in and add just a little bit more of the cooler green to the shadows in the middle ground here in these bushes and give it a little bit more depth. I'm going in yet again with an even darker layer. Now in the very background, I want to add um, where I have added the suggestion of just some bushes. I want to just add even more um, depth in here by creating an even darker uh, silhouette. And I'm doing a dry brush technique where I just let the brush dry out after um, I've used it on the paper and just blot and create that illusion of a few leaves just sticking up here and there. Now I'm going in and adding just a few little minor details and touch-ups for the feathers.
there we have it. He's finished. Ah, uh, so this has been another After the Swatch. Thank you for following along I'm using the Daniel Smith Sketcher set with the Mimic Kalinsky travel brush and the Reflections journal. I'm Jamie and hope to see you again soon. <laughs>